Welcome Capricorn to your mid-month reading for July. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you and the beautiful Capricorn. Best message, please, for Cap. Being in the knowing. So there is definitely something that's going on that you are sure about and you already know it. It's not even really a surety. It's like, you, you know that. So you can just say, Cap, I'm right. I'm right. They were wrong. I knew it. That's self-assurance right there, right? Self-assurance. You are right. So any kind of confrontations that might be popping up, yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Confrontations. There it is. The master of the universe. Opportunity beckons. And trust. Ooh, having some trust issues. But I also feel like that trust was trusting in your own intuition to say, you know what, but I already knew that there was something going on. I was waiting around, coming together, and feeling alone. So by the end of the mid-month over here, by the, about the 19th or so, it's saying, I'm not going to feel alone anymore. Wow. So this here is pretty much towards the end of the month of the mid-month. Right, so saying, well, let's see what's going on. So any kind of issues that you're scoring off with when it comes to this other person, which I do feel is a person, because um, I do feel like they they want confrontation and they feel like they're the master of the universe. Um, you're not accepting that right at this time. It feels like you're enjoying other things and other people um, and trying to stay away from this person because you know, yes, there it is, enjoying my time and staying away from you and actually really staying away from them. And it does feel like there could have been some arguments that did blow up uh, with the Knight of Swords over here coming through. Why? Because this is the way it's going, right? This person wants to argue. They want to fight. They want to battle. And you are choosing your battles wisely at this time. Yes, but they are causing a lot of confusions. Do I trust you or do I not? Right? But I also feel like within this situation, you are trusting your intuition enough to know that they can try to confuse whatever they want. Um... And maybe that's what it is. Maybe they're trying to confuse the situation. Because no matter what it feels like, they're kind of coming at you. And as they're coming towards you, you're saying, no, I see what you're trying to do. And I'm pulling back the reins from this situation because this is not going to go this way. So letting go of any of those past confrontations that they just want to, you know, feel like they're in control. So confronting power struggles and kind of release. Release, uh, releasing, huh. releasing any kind of uh, of their control issue. That's where their master of the universe is upside down. Awaiting the results of the judgment. Yeah, they don't want to nurture the situation. So waiting for the results of any kind of good news that's coming through any kind of give and take, it does feel like it kind of switched a little bit. And it feels like whatever is going on over here, you're waiting for some kind of good news to come through through uh, this Taurus or this Libra, um, which you don't see is going to happen. But you, it looks like you will wait. I think you're waiting for an apology from this person. You want some kind of passion out of the situation, and I don't see that really happening. Are they going to nurture the situation? Will they really give what they say they're going to get so you can come back together? The problem with the situation is that they would have to be courageous enough and get out of their egomatic mind. Could be definitely dealing with some kind of, um, I'm going to say, cancer or a Libra myself. You would have to actually have to have them have the courage to want to come to do so, right? I see when the strength is upside down, there's a little bit of a cowardly um energy going on. I think it's because they know they're wrong. They were wrong about the situation where they, where you guys feel like you want this other connection to come through and have just that peaceful moment within time. Um, it's just not happening. They have to release that control. Yeah, I don't see that. There's too many broken promises within this situation to create any kind of transformation this month. Um, it, it, during mid-month, excuse me. I don't know about the whole month, but definitely the mid-month. Um, maybe the whole month. Um, but definitely not seeing that coming through because they would have to come through to actually show you something, you know, that you're waiting for, for this to actually get back to where you want it to be. Yeah, I don't see that. 
There's no there's no action within the situation. If they had more, you know, responsibility through the situation to want to do so and more communication of what is really going on, that would be different. And that can inspire this relationship to open up, whether it's love or business or it doesn't matter what relationship it is. But it's not upbeat. It's not chatty enough. It's not even heart warmth at this time. And I think it's because they may be holding a grudge to the situation. Um, but for the other sides, I see you just having a good time with other people and enjoying life except for this situation here. So when it comes to connecting with other people, I see a lot of great things. It's just that this person, yeah, is guilty of trying to hold you back from a Pisces. Oh my gosh, a Pisces three times. So who is this person who is trying to hold you back from a Pisces? Somebody literally has a Pisces, they have Pisces three times in a row. Every one of these cards are my Pisces cards. So... Who's holding you back from a Pisces? Who doesn't want you hanging out with a Pisces? Is this where the grudge is coming from? If they don't want you hanging out with a Pisces, look, for others of you, it's not going to be a Pisces. Whatever energy I'm picking up, though, it's definitely a Pisces. That's where that water was coming for. You're having fun with a Pisces, and they're pissed off about this situation. If it's not a Pisces, throw it away. It could be anybody, right? But whatever energy I'm picking up, I'm going to say this, this Libra or Aquarius does not like you hanging out with the Pisces. But I do feel like whoever this Pisces is, they're the ones giving you unexpected invitations. They're the ones that are taking you out to have good times. They're the ones that are keeping everything nice and, you know, and supporting you and, you know, doing things with you. And you're just really getting along a like a lot, like really close, almost like if you're best friends, there's two peas in a pod. It could be your brother or your sister. It could be your, you know, best friend, whoever. But it almost feels like two peas in a pod over here, um, and they're really upset about the situation. Um, if it is a new boyfriend or love relationship because of the Ace of Cups, and you're finalizing this old relationship for this new relationship, boy, are they pissed off. Um, yeah, because it's showing this radical new fresh start can follow with, you know, what's going on. So it almost feels like the connection between you and what I call Pisces is getting closer and closer and closer, right? And all they wanted was this, they wanted this coming together, but they're too cowardly to do so. So for some of you, what I'm gonna say is they can't pick up the pace, Capricorn, so you know what, I'm moving towards Pisces. You can't show me nothing, so I'm moving out. I'm moving on. And that's really what it feels like. It feels like they can't give what, they, what they're supposed to give. So you're going to move towards this other person. I, you know, like I said, it doesn't matter if it's love. I, you know, to me, it doesn't matter. I just read. But it could be a third party situation. Where, you know, it's like, yeah, they're there, but they want to manipulate a situation and they don't want to show me the love. So the more that they keep doing this, they keep pushing me towards Pisces. Well, that's a huge possibility. But that would just show because they're too much of a coward to actually stop, you know, being stupid. Or maybe they were having a third party situation, which caused you to move towards Pisces. There's a, a little, <laughs> there's a lot of things going on here, you know, real life scenarios. But, you know, setting up boundaries and reflecting upon the situation is what's going to end up taking place over here. Because, like, they're not going to focus on what they needed to do. So you're just going to do what you want to do. Ah, forget it. Because you know what they're doing. I think there's a trust issue here within them. And I think for some of you, they cheated. And they, you know what, they didn't want to come back and say anything. Even apologize or anything. Uh, you know, whatever. However you want to take it, but it does look like no matter what, you're going to move towards this King of Cups because the King of Cups has more understanding. They reschedule things for you. They want to show you fresh new love. They want to show you what love is. They have a softer touch about them. Um, and you, maybe they're just straight out not liars. <sighs> Sorry, we've got the master of the universe over here. So however you want to take that, but it's definitely 
something that's not going to pull together this month at all. If anything, if you did want that to pull together, the craziest thing about a cap is that you just might not realize, right, I'm still trying to fix this with this, you know, a, this Libra, but I keep hanging out with this person. And, hey, look, in the end, it looks like they're going to win. Whether, like I said, whether it's love or just your best friend, because no matter what, you're going to shove them away because they're, they just cannot stand up and give you what you need. That's all. So if they don't want you hanging out with Pisces, that's too bad because the more they keep acting like that, you're going to still hang out with that person. So, and that's just the way it's unfolding. There's nothing more you can do. You're waiting for them to say something. They ain't going to say nothing. Okay. All right, my friends, until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye. Thank you.